Hi everybody. So today I'm going to do a review of the Life Application Study Bible. This one is the third edition. This one is in the New Living Translation. So it is today's number one selling study Bible. Comes in a nice two-piece box. I'll hold that right there in case you'd like to pause and read that top section. And then there's an example of what it looks like on the inside. So just a few of the key features. There's more than 10,000 life application notes and features. Thousands of the notes were updated, so 30 to 40 percent of this one has new material. We're going to have over 100 life application profiles of key Bible people. So there's tw over 20 that are new ones, which is pretty neat. Over 500 maps and charts. So lots of great features, which we will see on the inside. Here's the ISBN number. This one does retail for $74.99. You can find it for less online, and I will put a link in the description box. You can also get this Bible in the NIV as well. So I'll maybe I'll link this one in there as well, just so that if you prefer one translation over another. So this one here is going to be in what they call the purple leather like. So it's going to be an imitation leather cover. This one does measure out at nine and a half inches tall by seven inches wide and it is two inches thick. So we're going to have a really deep purple head and tail band. We've got one purple ribbon. Now we can see the gold gilding, but it is a satin finish on the gilding, which actually looks kind of neat. So we've got our purple imitation leather. It is perimeter stitched. We can see some highs and lows in the color there, so it's actually a really pretty color. Then on the front we've got Life Application Study Bible, kind of a nice little design. On the spine, we've got Tyndale, Life Application Study Bible, and NLT. On the back, we do have the ISBN number. So I really would like to see them add an additional ribbon to a Bible this thick. That would be about the only thing I would change on this one. So we're going to have a vinyl paste down liner. Got a nice presentation page. I do like that they've added some colors. On there so we've got different colors on the text and then that nice design we've got a family tree pages there so a page for the husband a page for the wife boy if I can get a hold of that page there and then we've got a page for special memories then we get into our title page and one nice thing is they have added some additional color to this one so before it was always just black and white so I do like that they've incorporated some color into this one. It does make it a lot nicer, I think. So on this one, one thing you're going to see right here is there is a ton of cover options. So I'll get you a close up on that side. So there is really something for everybody's taste. They will be coming out with uh, large print and personal size editions in spring of 2020. And I believe that they're also coming out with some red letters as well. So I have our contents page, a little welcome to the Life Application Study Bible 3rd edition. Got all the lists of the books, an alphabetical list, got a note to the reader, then we're going to have an intro to the NLT, and then we're going to get into the contributors, and then we get into why the Life Application Study Bible is unique. So it asks you some questions like, have you ever opened your Bible and asked the following? What does this passage really mean? How does it apply to my life? Why do some of the Bible seem irrelevant? So, and then it's going to answer all those questions. So several questions and then it answers them. Then along the bottom, there's going to be several pages of this here on the chronology of Bible events and world events. So across the top, it gives you all the Bible events and then all the world events down along the bottom. And it gives you the years. And so these pages are really neat. In fact, I like these so much that I did a separate video on just this timeline. So I'll link that at the end of this one. And then these next pages up top go over what is application. So if you get one and you've never read it, I would definitely take the time to spend in these front pages. Then it's going to go over the features like notes, book intros, outlines, harmony of the gospels, all of the stuff that we're going to see on the inside. And then we get into the Old Testament. So the NLT is going to have a green color on the inside. The NIV has like a berry color 
on the inside. So I'll get you a quick shot of the color. So if you're not a fan of green, you could always opt for the NIV and have that little bit different color in there. But I really like that they've added some color to them because before it was always just black and white. And I really like study Bibles that have some sort of color. So we're going to get into the book introduction for Genesis. So along the sidebar here, we've got all the vital statistics. We've got a timeline across the bottom. We've got a blueprint and a mega theme. And then some nice introductory information about the book there. So by the time you get to the book, you already feel a little bit familiar with it. So we're going to have all the key places in Genesis, a nice map to show you where everything took place, and then we get right into the Bible. So I like that all of the biblical text is separated from all of the notes. So we've got single column on the biblical text. All of our cross-references are going to be on the inside, which I prefer the references to be there versus the text. That way the biblical text doesn't fall down into the gutter, so I do like that. All of these study notes are going to be in a double column format along the bottom. So on our biblical text, so we do have just a single column there, but I want to get you to a page where I can show you the text just a hair better. So our biblical text is going to be an 8.5 font, and then down along the bottom, all of the study notes are going to be in a 7 point font. So nice and readable, all of our, so we've got some of our other notes here and we can see that we've got the green there. So really nice that we don't have just the black text. So I do really like that. So we're going to have lots of the personality profiles. And there's over 20 new ones in this Bible. So that's pretty neat. And thousands of the notes were updated. So they, they're saying that like 30 to 40% of this Bible has new information. So here we've got a harmony of the books of Kings and Chronicles. So nice harmony there. So I like the way they did that. I do like the shade of green that they used in this one. I'd love to see them do a full color life application study Bible. They do have full color in the chronological ones, but I'd really love to see them do that in one of these. Then we've got a full page chart on who's who in the Bible. So as far as charts and maps within the text and diagrams, there's going to be over 500 of them. So way too many to show in a video. So I'd give you a quick shot of the Psalms and how they're going to look as far as on the text. And then we do have, so we've got the Lord is my shepherd. So that's pretty neat. And it goes over different references where God is acknowledged as the shepherd of his people so I do like the way they did that and then Psalms to learn and love so lots of little charts scattered throughout this so no matter what book you're in you're gonna get a lot of extra information so I've got just a few of the different like charts and things marked in here so we're gonna get back to the end of Malachi and then we're gonna have the time between the Testaments so it's got the interlude there, and then it goes over the different periods. So we've got the Persian period, the Hellenistic period, the Maccabean period, as well as the Roman period. So good information there. Then we get into the New Testament. So we're going to start off with another book introduction. This one's going to be for Matthew. And then we're going to see our ribbon. So it is a thinner ribbon. It is double satin. But I really would like to see them, especially in a study Bible, maybe add two more at least. Because there's plenty of space to put three of these in there. But either way, it is nice to have a ribbon. So again, each book's going to have a map to kind of show you where everything starts on there. And then this is a neat two-page chart on the 12 disciples. So this is really cool because it goes over the disciple, their occupation, their characteristics major life events, what Jesus said about him, a key lesson from his life, and then selected references. So that's a really neat chart. So lots of stuff in here you would want to bookmark. Then we're going to get into the back and we're going to have 250 events in the life of Christ. So this is going to be a harmony of the Gospels. So you can see that there's a ton in there. So I really like the way that they did those pages. And then we've got 
the chart on the parables of Jesus as well as all the miracles. Then we've also got all of the prophecies and the fulfillments. So that's going to be right after the four Gospels and before we get into Acts. So here's a neat uh, example of some of the maps in here. So we've got a two-page spread with all of the maps from Paul's missionary journeys. So it does really help to have a map within the text that you're reading so you can get a better idea of where he went. This is kind of a neat little chart on vices and virtues. So that's a, that's a good little chart right there. Then we get to the end of Revelation. We're going to get into the table of the weights and measures. Then we're going to have the Christian Workers Resource. So it'll go over how to become a Christian. And all of these pages right here are super helpful. And then if you're following up with a new believer and you're trying to kind of disciple somebody, these pages are going to be really, really helpful to you on that. So we've got Mining the Treasures of the Life Application Study Bible. So it goes over different topics. So these pages here are awesome. Some helpful information, like if you've been asked to speak at an event or church or even something like this can help you even if you're asked to speak at your job, applying these principles. So then we've got information on taking the step to application. So great information on those pages there. Then we're going to get to the reading plan. So we're going to have a 365 day reading plan. And so it looks like it's just going to be just directly through from cover to cover. So I like to break it up and I read both the Old Testament and the New every day as well as Psalm and Proverb. So I follow their one year reading plan as far as the just the one year Bible. Then we're going to have abbreviations in the master index and then the pages for the master index. And so you can see right here that's quite a few pages. So lots of information in there. Then we get back to so we've got the index to the charts. So you can see a three column format. The print is pretty small. And you can see that's a lot of charts that they've got in there. Then there's an index to the maps. So between maps, charts, and diagrams, there's over 500. So there's going to be a ton. Then this is the index to all the personality profiles. So again, three column, small print, just to kind of show you how many there is. So there's going to be over 100. Then we get back to the concordance. It's going to be a three column format. All of our words will be done in bold. And the print is a little bit on the smaller side, but it is very readable. I can read that with no problems. So the concordance is going to be 83 pages, so decent size on the concordance. And then we're going to have 14 maps spread out onto 16 pages. So we can see right there that it is on a glossy paper. It's not super thick. It is thicker than the Bible paper, and it is glossy, but it's not quite a cardstock. So again, 14 maps spread out on 16 pages where I'm kind of in an awkward position behind this tripod so there's a nice two page spread there but nice maps good colors easy to see here we can see some of the stitching there so nice sewn binding so the binding on this Bible will last you for a long time now the cover I'm not sure how long these leather like editions will last I personally have never worn one out, but that's because I use multiple Bibles. So that would be the only question is how long this cover is going to last, but at least the binding is going to last. So the biggest thing on, especially on any Bible, is that it has a sewn binding. That is one of the most important things. So again, this one is going to be the NLT Life Application Study Bible. There is the ISBN number. Retail is $74.99, but you can find it for less online. And I'll put links in the description box so you can find it in the New Living Translation as well as the NIV. So depending on which one you like, but definitely an awesome, awesome study Bible. I can completely see why it is the number one selling study Bible because it is just that awesome. 
So I would definitely recommend picking one of these up in whatever cover option you like, whatever translation you prefer, because it will be very helpful to you. Plus, they're awesome for new believers. I would also like to thank Tindo for sending out this copy for review. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.